Here's how to play a basic 12-bar blues bass line. We'll do it in A minor, and we'll start on the 5th fret of the 6th string. First thing we'll do is play 16 total hits on this note. That corresponds to 4 measures. So 4 measures have 4 beats each. So 4 measures with 4 beats each is 16 total hits on this note. Notice how I count there. I'm counting each beat, but I'm also keeping track of which measure I'm on by changing the first number that I'm counting to the measure number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4. The first number in the group is always indicating which measure that I'm actually on. That way I keep track of how many cycles I've gone through. Okay. Next, we do two measures on this note. That's 5th fret, 5th string. So that means two measures, four beats per measure, that's eight total hits. And then back to your first note for eight more hits. Notice I'm playing this with thumb, and then in my right hand, and then on my left hand, I am lifting slightly. The finger lifts after I play every note, and that gives sort of a muted quality to it. That's not the only way to play it, but it's a nice way to play. It, gets, it makes it feel a little bit more rhythmic. If you just let it ring out, it sounds like this, which is fine, but maybe not all the time. It's best to mix it up and have this nice staccato feel sometimes. Okay, the last four measures are the hardest because they uh, go the fastest. You will play one measure on the seventh fret of the fifth string. That's four beats. Then you'll go down back to the fifth fret on the fifth string for four beats. One measure. So one measure each here. And then two measures to finish it off back on your first note, tonic note on the fifth fret of the sixth string. Okay, so reviewing. Four measures here, two measures here, then back for two measures. Then we finish it off with one measure here, one measure here, and then two measures here. And then we repeat. Let's try it all together. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. A two, two, three, four. A three, two, three, four. A four, two, three, four. One, two, three. This is meant to teach you the skeleton of what you would need to play a blues by yourself or to play a bass line and accompany another soloist, whether it's a clarinetist or another guitar player or trumpet player or whatever. So the core of it is the bass line. And once you learn the bass line, you can start adding chords with it. Chromatic passing tones like that. Extensions, sharp nines, flat nines, what? Sharp thirteens. Using shell voicings to free up your other fingers so you can. this but the core of it is learning this baseline okay